Good evening, everyone. Welcome. I hope you can hear me. I hope that you guys know that I'm here because I'm a little early. So um, you might notice that we are not in my normal craft space. Uh, so here we are in um, my new uh, alcove, I guess we'll say. We'll call it my craft alcove, okay? But anyway, I am Marianne. I'm going to give you all a few minutes because I'm sure you weren't ready for me to be here. So let me um, pull up your comments over here. Let's see. Are you around? Let's see if I can find myself here. I am on a new system and it is crazy. I promise you. I'm not. There we go. It says that I am here, but I can't see me. So I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, I'm Marianne. <laughs> I'm Marianne from Made by Marianne, and we'll just do it like this. Hey, if worse comes to worse, we'll wing it, right? Um, anyway, thanks y'all for joining me this evening. Welcome to Christmas around the world. Tonight, I am going to do a Rustic Santa. And uh, the reason I chose this was because there's a debate in my home about whether or not we are actually Bavarian German. And Bavarians are not really known for anything special Christmas except for chocolate. We're known a lot for chocolate, which I guess is which where we get these little chubby cheeks, right? And we're also, um, the other debate is that we're from Switzerland, or S Sweden's the one that's by itself, right? Whichever one is connected to Germany on that side. So we know we're German. We just can't figure out with, if we're blonde head, blue eyed Swiss or Swid. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Anyway. Or if we're Bavarian. Uh, so that's what it is. It is what it is. So we're going to be creating tonight on our Unique in the Creek triangle board. Okay? If you love these triangle boards, if you love the boards like I do, you can get the, a discount by following my affiliate link pinned to the bottom of this page. Okay? So check them out. Uh, you get a discount by using five off boards and following my link here pinned to the bottom. So here's where we're going to start. Uh, I'm a little disheveled because I wasn't prepared to go, and my I bought a brand new system that I've been working with since Thursday for cameras, lights, everything, and it is not working. Um, so I apologize, I'm on my phone, but we're going to have a good time, we're going to get this done, I'm going to pull the camera down, and we're going to get started, okay? So bear with me here, here we go. I can't see your comments, so welcome everybody, I hope you all are having a fantastic Sunday. Let's see if I can do it this way, maybe. Oh. Now, see, I can't tell if you guys can see it or not. Let's see, where's my... See, it doesn't show me my live video on my thing. Let me do it again. Let's try here. Is it doing it? Anyway. It should say that I'm live, but whatever. Anyway, moving along. I might be a little crooked. I might have to move you just down just a little bit more. Let's do this. Sorry, guys. Like I said, I have a brand new piece of equipment, and it is not working. And that's what I get for not testing it out. But I just, I just got it the other day, and I didn't want to take away from anybody else's lives by going live. So here we are. Sorry for the movement of the camera. I know that is ridiculous. How are we looking? Okay. This should look all right. Right, guys? Can you all see what I'm doing here? How are we doing? I can't see your comments, so I'm going to um, rely on Carrie Marie to help me out here. And talk. I'm just going to talk my way through this. All right. So we're going to start with the um, triangle board. And we are going to, if you can't tell, they are numbered down the middle. They start with one up here. And they go all the way down to row 12. We are not going to use those. We are going to use row 12 through 7. So what you're going to do is you are going to take your zip ties and fill them all in up to row 7. Okay? And here's what I'm going to use. I have this beautiful, it's called an oatmeal yarn, and it kind of looks like, um, like disheveled hair. That's what I wanted it to look like. And then we are going to use this, no, I'm sorry, this one's called oatmeal. This one's called taupe. So this is an oatmeal. You can get these at Walmart. They're fairly inexpensive. I think I paid six bucks for both of the skeins. Um, and one skein will do an entire project here. 
So we're going to use these two. I also decided that since I wanted my Santa to look a little bit more uh, rustic, that I was going to rip some fabric. Because I kind of wanted his beard to look like, um, you know, one of those rag dolls. Because everything in Germany is very rustic, very woodsy, very traditional. So I didn't want to do all glitz and glam, Santa, woohoo, you know. I wanted to do an old-timey rustic Santa. So what I've done is I've found some, like, tea-colored or beige fabric. And I have just ripped some strips. All right, so we're going to use that. Here's our pick for his hat, and I made this pick because all of my picks are actually, they have glitter on them, and I don't think this, you know, goes with glitter, so there we go. Um, and I just have a plain old felt hat. Here's our felt. That's going to be his hat. This is going to be his backing to give a little bit of fluff on him. And let's see, that looks like it. Oh. Here's going to be the brim of his hat, and then I thought we'd um, decorate it with a little bit of this ribbon, this brim. So there we go. That's what we're doing this evening. All right. Again, I'm sorry I can't see your comments, so let's get started. Um, and the reason I was giving you the whole speech about we can't decide whether we're, um, you know, Swedish or or Bavarian is because I wasn't going to get on here and make chocolate. So I decided we'd do a Santa. But then as I was making all these things, my Santa is going to, in my brain, is looking more like a gnome than a Santa. So whatever. Work with me here, people. So what we're going to do, <laughs> y'all, it's been a day. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on the bottom row here, okay? And you're going to, again, load all of your zip ties all of the way up to row seven, okay? This one is row seven. So all of this up here will be completely, it'll be nothing, all right? Row seven will be your beard, okay? On row 12, you are gonna take your pieces of yarn and however you wanna measure them, you can use your measure buddy, you can use your, um, you can use a piece of cardboard if you want to, no problem. Use a piece of cardboard, you can use uh, your mat here to measure. So you're going to do 10 inches for the string and your uh, ripped fabric. You're going to go 10 inch strings for the first two on each side. Then you're going to skip to the next two sets and you're going to do 12 inch. And then your middle three are going to be four in 14 inch. All right. So let me show you how I put it together. These strips Put this to the side here. These yarn strips are 14 inches, and as you can see, I've cut three pieces, all right, of each color. Here's three of the oatmeal. Well, that didn't work very well. Three of the oatmeal. And three of the, three of the oatmeal, three of the taupe, okay? Or three of what, tan, taupe, whatever. I'm going to measure 14 inches here for our ribbon. Just cut it like that. I'm counting 13 more. And again, you can use a measure buddy if you want to, which I find is really easy. There's our extra. We're going to put it over here. And then all we're going to do is lay our pieces down. Okay. Lay our pieces down and put our put our yarn on top of it. Squish it together so you have this. Take our board. Probably should have get in. Okay, that's it. That's all you do. And so from here, so two, there's ten, two twelve pieces, and three fourteen. All right. It should end up looking, if I were to do this live, it would take me forever. This would be a two-hour live. So, for the sake of time, here's what he should look like. All right. Now see how I haven't, I've stopped at row seven here. This is row six. This is going to be his hat. All right. And then let me flip you over to the back to explain what I mean. Okay. All the way here are 10 inch pieces of yarn and 10 inch pieces of my ripped fabric. 
all right, all the way here. These are 10 inches on both sides, all right. This row and this row are 12 inches on both sides. The yarn is 12 inches and the ripped fabric is 12 inches. The three in the middle are 14 inches and it goes three, three, two, one. All right. Ta-da! Super simple, super easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Everybody's with me. So now, let's start working on our hat here. I think his beard looks good. And also, if you are like me and you think, I'm trying to get y'all in the camera angle here because I can't see you, so I'm wanting to make sure that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry that I can't see your comments and that's what I get for, you know, trying out a new system before I actually get it done. Anyway, um, Carrie Marie, I hope that you are hanging out with me, answering questions. I'm so sorry, y'all. I can't even find myself on my page. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. We're going to go for it, though, because we are pros. All right, so this is row seven. Oh, you're also going to need a nose. And this nose is half of a styrofoam ball, okay? And it's wrapped with pantyhose. I've just wrapped a pantyhose around it, all right? And then turned it over and put a uh, pop cleaner on it and some U-pins and glued the dickens out of it, my friends. That is our nose. Voila! You have a gnome or a Santa nose. Okay? That's going to come into play here in just a second. Make sure your hot blue gun's ready. Let's grab our hat. And we're off and running like a herd of turtles, as my granddaddy used to say. Herd of turtles, my friends. And I am talking to myself. My little dog's like, what's new? <laughs> here we go. This is batting. And um, I steal it from my mama all the time because she's a quilter. <laughs> and she is, uh, she's like, Marion, that's expensive. Don't be stealing it. So she gives me her throwaway pieces. And um, I use them for things like this. And the throwaway pieces work perfect. So don't go out and buy batting because it's expensive. You know, steal somebody's throwaway pieces. They work just as well. And all you're going to do is you are going to cover... See, you're going to cover this top line a little bit, and you're going to cover your board. All I've done is um, cut out a triangle. You can see where I measured my triangle here, okay? Cut out a triangle, throw some glue on this board, make sure that you put your hanging hole now. Make sure you've done that first, because you don't want to cuss. You know, cussing's not good when you're making Christmas projects. It's all about baby Jesus. We don't want to, you know, we don't want to be cussing trying to make projects for Christmas. So make sure you put your hanging hole there. I've learned that lesson many times. And I'm just gluing this board like nobody's business. Okay? Then I'm gonna just stick. I'm gonna put it right where, can y'all see me? Let's see, yeah. I'm gonna put it right where the zip ties end here, okay? And that should stick it on there like nobody's business. And then we're going to stick this piece because we know that one didn't go. Okay. So just, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just put it on there, ladies and gentlemen. Just put it on there. And boy, I hope Justin from Green Reese has, uh, that's coming up next, has a way better, you know, time of it than we have had in the last gosh, 30 minutes, hour, whatever. <laughs> okay, now that your batting's on, what you want to do is grab your nose, because your nose is going on next, and you're going to find the middle here. So see where, it, it will have a number seven. You all won't be able to see that. With my fancy mancy new camera, I could have zoomed in and showed you the seven, but does it work? Nope. <laughs> So trust me, there's a seven right here in the middle, and that will mark the middle of your row, okay? Throw your little nose into this seven. And you know what? Matter of fact, I'm going to, eh, I wasn't going to poke too bad in, but let's make a little slit here. Okay. There we are. Now, see, 
I've, I've framed the seven. Maybe you can see it now. Doubt it, but maybe. Okay, here we go. We're just going to stick our little nose in here and tighten him up on the back. So let's turn him over and tighten him up. There we are. Yep, I'm OCD. I got to tighten a little tighter. So if you are making comments, I'm so glad to see each and every one of you, even though I cannot see your comments. Again, I am Marianne from Made by Marianne, and we are normally in my kitchen. And you know, we should be. I'll probably get so frustrated that that's where we'll be next time. <laughs> in my kitchen, again. I was trying to be professional, and it just don't work sometimes, y'all. It just doesn't work sometimes. But that's okay. We onward, upward, drop. Now watch him be cricket because I'm standing at an angle. Okay, there he is. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our, um, this is just felt. Actually, I think it's fleece. It's nothing special. I think I got it at Walmart too. I either got it at Walmart or I got it at um, Hobby Lobby on a big bolt. And I had them cut me out of yard. So it's nothing special either on this part. And all you're going to do is you're going to, you know, make sure that it kind of covers the nose a little bit. All right. There we go. There's his hat. Okay. There's his hat. Let's pin him so we can turn him over because we're going to glue this puppy here too. So let's pin where it looks good. Or clip, pin, clip, whatever you want to call it. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all feel me. I come one here bringing my tablet up here. I was like, no, I don't need my tablet. I've got my fancy new computer. It'll be just fine. I hope y'all are laughing with me. <laughs> Karen Marie, if they're not laughing with me, you make a note, make a list. <laughs> Karen Marie, Nadia, Heather, make a list. All right, here we are. There's our little, you know, and you want to leave it with that looks terrible. Let's push that right there so we don't glue that. And you don't want to, you know, squish it too far down because you don't want wrinkles in your hat. But then again, you don't want it to look all stretched. Okay? So just pin it to where you know you're going to glue it. And you could also stuff some polyfill in here too if you want to make it even more, even more fluffy, even more amazing. Okay? Let's turn him over. And then all you do now is just glue under your little edges here. Hold them down for just a minute. Don't watch me burn myself. There we go. Let's move this over here. Ta-da. And grab some more glue sticks. Okay, now we can take this one off. We can put some glue here right straight on the board. Pull it pretty tight so that you know, you know, you don't have a big hump in his hat on one side and not on the other. There you go. There we go. And just do it all the way up. And I'm going to do it up to my hanging hole. I'm not going to do my hanging hole just yet. Da -da -da. There's one side. Okay, let's turn him over. One good thing about not being able to see your comments, y'all can talk about me. Be like, that girl's crazy. I would have never done that. Let's make sure his beard's not. Yeah. Okay. Good to go. Alright. There we are. Here we go. Moving on up. Moving on up. Yeah, the, um, Bavarians are known for chocolate and um, 
Christmas carols and Krampus and you know I wasn't making Krampus and I wasn't making chocolate either because I don't need to eat it and that's what would have happened I would have eaten it probably would have been good but hey you know let's see maybe I can right now come on video be there be there video why is it not there I just don't get it Maybe I can find me in. My oh, Lord, who knows? All right, whatever. <laughs> I got a system that blew up my system. Okay, we're just keep on. This is boring right now. We're just gluing, gluing the hat down, gluing the hat down, making sure that it's uh, taut but not tight, because we don't want it to be pulled take that off. Here I keep going. If I move out of the screen, nobody can tell me, which is not good. I wonder if I can go into the group and find myself. I think I could. I could go here. Let's try that in just a second. Let's glue this part. Alright, now, what I want to do for, I don't want to glue my hanging hole down, so I'm going to kind of rip some, like, little slits here. I'm going to cut off what I don't really need, because that's a lot. We don't really need all that. Alright. And then I'm just going to glue down in and around. Try to make it look good here. Make it look like a round piece, you know, you don't want to, so we'll start right here. Hang with me, guys. Let's see if I'm here. Aha! I think I may have found me. Can I see comments? That was the question. Holy moroli, I think I can! Yes! Yes! Hello, everybody! Yay! Yay, hello! Crazy Marianne figured it out. All right, we're almost done with this, and then we can do the pretty part. Let's get this off. That's way too much to be hanging on the back of a thingy. And so I've just kind of made it pretty, moving around. You know, it's not, not going to be perfect because I'm going to go back and I'm going to cover all this. You will not see this back. This back will be completely covered. I will make it all pretty make it all nice. Yay, guys. I'm so glad I can see you now. Awesome. Hello. Hello, hello. Yay. Yay. Okay, just going to glue a little bit more right here, and then we're going to move along to our next part, because our next part is the fun part. All right. Oop. Burn yourself, Mary. There you go. Just a second, everyone. Now this should look like a nice neat curve, but if it doesn't, we can always go back and fix that too. For time's sake, we're not gonna worry about it looking perfect. So let's flip him back over, and here's what we have so far. I'm loving his beard. I think he looks very rustic. What do you guys think? Do you guys think he looks pretty good? And I'm seeing some holes right now that we can go back and cover up, and I can tell you how. All you'd have to do is just put a zip tie in the middle and put more of your strips in so we can fix that for sure um, but here's our here's our hat now what we're gonna do is you're gonna need let me put my glue gun over here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make his hat his ruffle hat at the bottom so you're gonna need your big old piece of um gosh I didn't realize you guys could see my see my fat <laughs> So you're going to need your big old piece of felt, and you're going to need a long piece of about five inches, okay? So let's see if I can find a straight piece of five inches. So I'm going to cut. This looks good, so I'll make sure. Let's do six, just because I'm scared. There we are. 
Where's my... And, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna paint something heavy. What have I got that's heavy here? This is heavy. There we go. Watch me turn it over. This is heavy. All right. Here we are. Okay, I changed my mind to the five again, didn't I? All right. Here we go. I'm off camera view. Sorry. Here I go. You're just going to see me cutting this thing here. I'm going to try and cut it as quickly and as easily as possible. It doesn't matter. You're going to cover this up anyway, so just don't cut your tablecloth. <laughs> don't cut your tablecloth as you're motoring along here. crazy little edges here so I'm a little OCD I can't believe I just did that but whatever all right now take our weights off the table what I like to do is we want this edge because it looks prettier this edge here to be the brim okay what I'm going to do is all I'm doing is I'm taking this piece and I'm laying it there and I'm just creasing it to make a ruffle. See? So I'm just going to crease it just like that. Back and forth. So it makes it look like a ruffle down here on the top of his nose. Okay? Let me show you. Make sure it's straight, so I'm going to start at the nose here. See? And this may have been way too much, so let's... Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make a crease right there. Okay, let's glue it down a little bit. And don't worry about what this looks like back here because you are going to cover it up with a ribbon. So all I've done is just put a little glue there to glue it down to start my process. Okay? And just make sure that it covers. Okay. And it is flat. Now, I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to do, do it like that. Wrap it on itself. I'd show you, maybe I'll show you with the, you know, it's hard to explain. I'm going to take the piece and I'm just going to wrap it on itself like that. See? Just going to wrap it like that all the way down. And all it does is make your piece of fabric ruffle. See? I'm just doing that with this piece of fabric all the way down. <clears throat> and that's going to make a little brim. And don't worry about, again, what it looks like up here. It's not a big deal. Because we're going to cover this part up. Just make sure that it's even down his nose here. Just make myself a line. And just keep on keeping on. It will look better when we're done, I promise. Promise. will stay, might not stay, but hey, we got a ribbon. How are we doing on time? Oh wow, I'm doing pretty good. Hi everybody! Hi Miss Vicki! Yes, um, that's why I got my seahorse tutorial. That's why I got all of this fancy dancy equipment, um, because I was, you know, getting ready to record all that stuff. And I have a lot of it recorded, and um, I just haven't practiced lives with it, and it just isn't working with a live. It won't let me. <laughs> it will not let me. 
So it's coming, I promise. I'm, I haven't forgotten about it. I, I didn't lie to y'all. It's happening. Happening, happening. It's happening. One day. I'm getting there. Okay. Now see, it looks like a total mess right there. That's okay. Promise ya. Promise ya, it's okay. I need another glue stick. And then we are done with this side. We can go to the next side. This is the easy cheater way to make your, make a ruffle. We don't need this much, so let's take this off. fingernails. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> You're a patient woman. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. All right. Now we're just gonna, we're gonna finagle this one a little bit. I didn't cut it short enough. All right. I didn't. I need a little more glue right here, ladies and gentlemen. I also have a Valentine's Day gnome on my YouTube channel that um, does this technique as well. Probably shows you a little bit better. And you know, heck, after this live, I might tear it all apart and do it again. You never know. All right, now let's just pin it back here. Turn him over and glue it there. Or we don't even have to turn him over. I can just stand him up. One second, y'all. <sighs> glue right there. And voila. Okay. Alright. There's part of his little cap. Let's turn him over this way. Start the other side. We'll glue that down to the board in just a second. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I'm just going back and forth, making little ridges so that it looks like a little ruffle. I know you're thinking, Marion, this is crazy, but it, it'll work. I promise. Just bear with me. Oh, thanks, Kelly. Hi, Lady Lou. How you doing? You know what? I probably could sit down, but I will. Got to read standing up sometimes. Got to read standing up sometimes. All right. Here we go. Just holding them down so that I know they're working there. That's a big globby mess, but don't worry. Thou shalt not worry, says Marianne. All right. And you could also get a ruffle. You know, you wouldn't have to make your own ruffle. You could also just buy a ruffle. That goes right here. <laughs> but Marianne's a little cheap sometimes. Well, I won't say cheap. I'm a little spendthrifty sometimes. Cheap's a bad word. We don't, let's say cheap around here. Ain't that right, Miss Nadia? She'll get you for it. We don't say cheap. Cheap is not a good word. We are not cheap. Look at that. Glue strings. All right, almost there, and then we can start on the rest of it here. Just gluing it to the back so that it makes a nice looking little hat here. And I'll do the same to this side. Okay, what do y'all think? See what I mean by the little ruffly hat? Is it cute? Kind of sort of yes, Mary, and you're crazy. Does anyone know the name? It's a pick. It's called a, a pick machine, right? Put an end on your ribbon. I think Flora uses it. An end on your ribbon. You mean like an end on your flowers? Hmm. I think it's called a pick machine. Now, I don't know about an end on your ribbon. Maybe Nadia will. Or um, someone else really smart in this group. Camera, you know? I think Karen Marie knows it all, so. <laughs> She's like, shut up, man. 
She's my reaping bestie. I can give her all the all the caca I want. All right, let's see. Let's cut this off. And now let's move on and hide. You know what? I'm gonna glue this right here because I kind of want it to flare out a little bit. And again, all of this will be covered, so please don't worry about what it looks like back here right now. It's gonna look much better. Promise. Promise, promise, promise. I will cover it before I do anything with it. Trust the process. Isn't that what they always say? Trust the process, friends. Okay, now we have this really nasty looking ruffle up here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our fur. This is four inch fur. Um, I think I got it at Hobby Lobby, if I'm not mistaken. Take our pin out of it. And we're just going to cover up our work here. Ta -da. Okay, so that looks like that'll be enough. Normally I would say use a um, X-Acto knife and cut from the back because this will ruin your fur and you won't get the nice pieces. So always cut fur from the back. But because this is ribbon and we're going to glue it on the back, it doesn't matter. See how this end is like all crazy and chopped off looking and you can, if you cut it, if you cut fur from the back with an X-Acto knife, you won't have this problem. But because this is ribbon, we don't care. <laughs> so cut it however you want it, homie. We're just going to cut it like that. See? Okay, let's put our little pin back in it. That way. Use it later. And then now, we're just going to do, let's pin the back of him on here. Pin it back to where it looks straight. Straight. Goodness gracious, that'd be awful if he was all lopsided. <laughs> and see how that covered up all of our little nasty things there? Nice little trick. What do you think? Okay, so now let's go back here and let's glue these exactly like they are. Okay, I'm not going to cut any more. Come on. Oh, I've kept it off the charger for too long. Wait a minute. Let's give it just a second. There we go. Okay, leave it alone. I do have a trash can under there. I'm so happy I can see everything. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I'm so glad y'all like this. I'm so glad. I'm sorry I left y'all to fend for yourselves there for a minute. But I had no clue. I guess that, like I said, that's what I get for not trying out new stuff before. But in my defense, I got it Thursday. I had to work all day Friday. And then I didn't want to go live and it, uh, the marathon be going on yesterday. So, I thought, well, you know, I'll just test it out about an hour before. Because I have played with it. I just haven't gone live. And I have recorded some stuff. So, I will. You know what? I've still got the boxes. I'm Mary. I will pack it up. <laughs> Ain't nothing to me to pack it up, send it back, and go back to the kitchen, my friends. I don't mind. I like my kitchen. I'm just gluing this down, ladies and gentlemen. Gluing it down. Putting my stuff back on the charger so that my little heating gun gets hot because my other one takes forever to heat up. Take our little pins off. So there we are. And again, don't worry, I will cover up the back. Now let's turn him back over again. That's going to drive me nuts. I'm going to have to put a little tiny stitch through him here. Okay, now here is our next piece. And I'm going to let you guys tell me. Do you think that we really should put a little bit here? 
What do you think? Or, I'll let you guys tell me. We can do that. And we can put our pick right here and call him finished. Of course, I'll fix that part. His, you know, put his little pick right here and call him finished. Let me fix his little. Or, and I'll mess with him a little bit. I'll have to make him perfect. I can't handle these and him not being perfect. I'll roll these up a little bit. Of course, y'all know I'll roll them up. Make them all pretty. So that's what it'll look like. Or, should we just leave it plain here? Should we do, watch this. So here's what it would look like plain. Which do y'all prefer? Do y'all prefer a little bit of color on him? Or do you prefer, I am going to have to go back and fill in some holes here. Or do you prefer just the fur? Totally up to you. You tell me. There's what it looks like. You like it plain? Everybody likes the flat? Okay. I like them both ways. I would choose plaid. Everybody says plain. All right. Okay, let me roll up these little puppies here because y'all know. So we're going to roll these up. All right, are we sure we are going to do... Mary Williams says no ribbon, and Mary Williams is amazing supporter, y'all. She has been in every single live, in every single marathon we have done. She is an amazing, amazing supportive person. So, Mary Williams says no ribbon, so guess what we're going to do? We're going to do what Mary Williams says. Yep, yeah. so let's just glue our little thingy on here. Oh my gosh, he's kind of cute. Although I think it picks a little too big, but we'll, you know. And I may have to glue that up just a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. You know, after everything that's happened, the way that he came out, I'm happy with him. All right, let's just throw some glue on there and stick him. Okay, sticky mint sticker tin, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. We're just awaiting. We're just waiting for the glue to dry, and then we'll hold him up. And I'll work on this little stuff here in just a minute. How am I doing on time? <gasps> Carrie Marie! Look at what time it is! You know what? Maybe we can fix some of these little places in here while we wait. No, I can show you what I mean. Okay, let's pull some of these little ribbon tails out of here. I don't want to pull them too far. Da -da -da. backwards here. Mm -hmm. That might work. I'll, I'll see it when I, uh oh, we did it actually. Blue. I Stop. I started messing and stopped holding it. Let's try this again. this pick. Every, like I said, all of the stuff I had had glitter in it. And I know that a Rustic Santa doesn't technically have glitter. Oh, get that piece off there. Okay. What do you think, guys? I could stick some flat in it if we absolutely needed it. What do you think he looks like? You like him? And again, I'll probably go back and add some more of the strips. Why, Miss Bradley, you are all right, hon. You are totally fine. It is Sunday. Okay, I'm going to hold him up. And then we are going to go through what we did on the back again. So you can see him. Okay. Let's see. Do I get him? Good. Eh, let's put some more glue here before we do that. I'm afraid. Dang it. 
glued enough. Just a second, we're going to hold it down. And I have seen some gorgeous things this week. It has really inspired me to make some swags. I love swags. I think swags are probably my favorite. I love wreaths, but there's something about a swag, a teardrop swag on your door for Christmas that I just go gaga over. So I think that might be my next, my next project. Teardrop swag, we'll just have to wait and see. I won't be making a, a rag bow anytime soon because uh, splitting this fabric was a chore. <laughs> I was like, Mom, can't you just do that? No. <laughs> Mom, you want to split? No. I gave you the fabric, she said. <laughs> My poor old mom. She goes through a lot with me, y'all. You don't even know. You don't even know. All right, I'm going to pull you up, and then we are going to chit-chat a minute about, uh, we're going to review about what we've done, and then I am going to let you enjoy Mr. Justin Green, because he is fantastic with green wreaths. He has some of the funniest reels and um, TikToks you've ever seen. Uh, he turns these beautiful, he, he just turns things so beautiful. He just makes them so gorgeous. So I want you all to be able to see what he does. I'm rolling up some ribbon. I'm sorry. I know I'm out of the frame there. That's another thing about being in my kitchen. I, I don't go out of the frame and start walking around. <laughs> Let me pull you up really quickly so you can see my face. We'll chit chat for a second. I mean, I don't know if you want to see my face or not, but hey, let's see. Can you hold on guys? Are we there? Hi. I'm going to have to bend down a little bit. That's okay. Guess what? Look, I can sit down. I can sit down and show you. Yay! All right. Anyway, uh, forgive the mess back here. It is a little messy. It's my new, my new bone. All right. Here we go. Here is our gorgeous rustic Santa. Now, what do you guys think? Do you really think he looks rustic? Or would you think? No, I don't know. I think he's cute. Let's see if I can get him through here a little bit further. So you can see his hat and his stuff. Here he is. I will go back and um, fix these little parts. So to recap, here's what we've done. Okay? I'm going to actually, and I will cover this back too, for sure. There's no way that I would let this go out if I was giving this to a customer, even for myself that I would let this go out or hang this on my door without covering up my work in the back. Now, Unique in the Creek boards are fantastic because they won't hurt a door, they won't scratch anything, but still, this looks super messy. So that's just me being OCD, all right? So let's go to this board again, here he is. Let's go to this board and let me go over what I have done for you guys again, how to do the top, where is it? Okay. So what you'll do is you will start at the last row and you will go up six rows okay so the outer rows have 10 inch pieces of yarn and ripped fabric okay the two next ones are 12 inch okay two on this side two on this side 12 inch pieces of yarn and fabric and there are three pieces of the oatmeal and three pieces of the tan and two pieces of the ripped yarn. Now you could do whatever you wanted. You could do four pieces, you could do five pieces, however thick you wanted his beard to be. The middle three are 14, 14 inches, okay? And then you just go up the board with 10 on the outside, 12 on the inside. Make sure you do two 12 every time, two over here, two over here, and then 14 in the middle, okay? And you will have a gorgeous beard like so okay so again these are 10 these are 12 okay these three in the middle are 14 14 14 14 okay questions uh oh see and I didn't glue him again that's what you get for gluing on fur I'll have to glue him back up again he twisted. He twisted on me. 
That's okay. I got my hot glue gun ready to go right here. All right, friends. Thank you, everybody. Well, hi, Greg. Hi. Thank you, buddy. I'm telling you what. Y'all want to see some beautiful things? That homie Phil, he's got some beautiful things, too. I'm hoping one day he'll come join a marathon with us. But. All right, guys. Any other questions? Any comments, concerns? I cannot believe I have done this in 45 minutes. I am so shocked, even with all the drama I have had um, with my... It's crazy. Why, thank you, Miss Sandy. Thank you. If you'll have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a line. Um, I'm going to try to save some of this and make a video out of it and load it up to YouTube. So join me on YouTube at Made by Marianne in Tennessee. Thank you all for joining me this evening. Stay tuned for Justin Green. Um, he's coming up in about uh, 10 minutes, all right, from Green Wreaths. Thank you again for Christmas Around the World. Nadia, I love you. Heather, I love you. I will see you guys soon. Tonight it was made by Marianne. Tomorrow night it might be made by you. Send me a message if you have any questions. I love meeting all y'all. Bye, guys.